Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Although you do not have to be fluent in accounting terminology to understand QuickBooks Online Plus, it is necessary to have a basic understanding of some accounting concepts prior to entering information into the program. The first concept to discuss is the chart of accounts. A chart of accounts is a listing of all of the accounts used within your company file. You can open the chart of accounts by clicking the gear and clicking chart of accounts under the settings heading. Your chart of accounts shows the name of the accounts used by your company, the account type like income, bank, or one of the many other account types, the QuickBooks balance, the bank balance, and an action column. The action column contains a drop-down menu with choices that allow you to edit, delete, run report, or view register. The view register choice only appears for balance sheet accounts, such as assets, liabilities, or equity. At the top of the chart of accounts, there is a text box that allows you to filter by name or number. When you enter a specific name, only that account will be displayed. You can also click the settings gear and check the number column to ensure that you can show account numbers. When this is selected, account numbers for accounts will also be displayed in the chart of accounts. Double clicking on any account line in the chart of accounts will open the associated account register or account report. Alternatively, you can click either the view register or the run report link that's found in the action column. Selecting delete from the action column will cause a pop-up box to appear to confirm you want to delete the item. Selecting edit will open the account menu so you can edit the account information. Clicking the run report button at the top of the page will display a list of the accounts included in your chart of accounts. This report can be printed by simply using the print button at the top of the report. You can email it using the email button. The export button will export the report to the Excel file format that you select from the drop down menu. The Customize button gives you many options to customize your account list. The final button is a Save Customizations button which will save any customizations you have made to the report. To the right of the Run Report button at the top of the page there is a New button. You can use this button to create a new account. Directly under the New button you will find a pencil icon, a print icon, and a small gear icon. Clicking the pencil icon will open a new page where you will be able to enter account numbers for your accounts and edit the existing names of the accounts. The print icon will open a new page which contains a printer friendly list of your full chart of accounts and automatically opens your print dialog box. The small gear icon is used to determine what you show in your chart of accounts page. Four check boxes will allow you to hide or display the number, type, QuickBooks Balance, and Bank Balance. Note that number will only appear if account numbers are turned on in the company settings. There are three options underneath the Rows option. They are 50 items, 150 items, and 300 items. The final option to look at is the checkbox to Include Inactive. If it is checked, it will display any accounts that you have rendered inactive. When viewing the chart of accounts in QuickBooks Online Plus, note that the accounts are ordered as follows. First assets, then liability, then your equity, followed by your income, then expenses, other income and expenses, and finally your non-posting accounts. Clicking the New button will open an account pop-up window that will allow you to add a new account. The first item is a drop-down box to select the category type. There are 15 different selections available under Category Type. Below the Category Type drop-down box is a Detail Type list. Depending on the type of category you select, there will be one or more options in this list. You must select an option from the Detail Type list to be able to add a new account. Below the Detail Type list is a text box that will show a description of the selected Detail Type. The name text box will allow you to enter a personalized name for the account or use the default name that appears when you make a selection from the detail type list. Below name you will find a number text box where you can enter an account number. The description text box allows you to enter a description of the account. There is a checkbox labeled is subaccount which when clicked opens a drop down menu 
where you can select a parent account for the selected account. Only if you are creating an account that had a balance as of the start date of your company file, you can enter that balance and then input the start date of your company file into the balance and as of fields. Note that this is only done for new accounts that had a balance as of the start date of your company file in order to ensure accurate accounting. For accounts that you open after the start date of your company file, you will leave both of these fields blank. When you have completed your entries, click the Save button to close the menu. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.